Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my finale on the Graveyard Project pan. Today is Halloween, so happy Halloween to you guys. I am filming and trying to upload this video on the same day. It is a little later upload than usual, but I'm gonna have this video up for you guys. So if you love Project Pan videos, definitely continue watching. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. I do upload three times a week, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. And let's just go ahead and jump right in. project was created by Emily and Max here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below as well as the playlist. Um, this project again is called Graveyard Project Pen. So we have to pick five to ten products and it is rolling style. Um, and also there was two categories. So the first one is collecting cobwebs, which is just products sitting in our collection, collecting cobwebs, just chilling, needing some love need us to use them up and get them out of our collection and then also resurrection which are products from previous project pans that uh we want to meet our goals on so this project pan started in april i don't remember i think it was maybe april 30th and it ended today which is halloween april 31st that's why it's called the graveyard project pan and i do have some updates to share with you guys duh I didn't do all that great on this project. I did make a goal on one and I've been using some of these products as well. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. I'm going to start off with my goal and it was in this Urban Decay Naked Basics 2 palette and I had the shade, I believe it was Stark and I'll put in pictures up as well but as you can see it is all gone. It was pretty much like a a brow bone set your eyeshadow primer kind of color. Glad this is all done. I'd love to count this as my end of year makeup empties as well. But unfortunately, the shadows that I depotted from in here, which were like two cool tone brown shades, um, I have not finished. And that was repressed in here. So the this is the ends or the last few bit of those shadows. And I never added any orange shadow, never warmed this up. I used it a few times as eyeshadow and I have been using it a lot, especially right now that I'm wearing masks. I'm like, who cares? I've been applying it as a contour. It's pretty harsh and a little bit goes a long way again because this is shadow. And when you repress a shadow, it's, it's not tightly pressed either. So there's just like a lot of kickback more than usual so i've been using it as a contour i did try um alex here from one beauty addict or alejandra lisette now um she suggested me using this like people have been using shadow as nail polish and i watched a video and it looks like you pretty much just scrub it on with a <laughs> an eyeshadow brush and i did that i applied a black as a base and then i applied this and you guys, when I was done scrubbing this on my toes, it pretty much looked like I went outside and ran a few times around the dirt. Like, <laughs> it was so bad. I was like, okay, I totally see why people do this, but not with like a gray shadow. It must be with like a shimmer or like a flip kind of shadow to it. Because I, when I was done with one foot, even with one toe, to be honest, I was like... I can't believe I just did this and and I went for it. I did all 10 toes too. So <laughs> it's kind of funny now that I think about it. But I was like, this looks like I've just been outside running in like loose dirt. <laughs> it was just funny. But this is still going strong. I am definitely going to keep on using this. And this will be done by the end of the year. Because I am going to be counting this baby in my end of year empties. Next up, I've been doing pretty well on is my NYX Butter Gloss. Um, this is in the shade Praline. So when I put this in this project, it was at 14 grams and my last update was at 13 and now it's at 12. I know I'm making progress because I could finally see some window. I don't know if you guys will be able to. It's right here around there and I can kind of see through the container. I don't know if you guys will be able to, but I can see inside. It's pretty much like the product in the middle is gone and then I think I'm getting pretty close. I did kind of just scrape the side so there is still a lot of product in the tube. 
So unfortunately, I didn't meet my goal of finishing this up. I thought when I first initially put it in, it was like this color container, but it's not. You can see through it eventually once you use it all up. I didn't meet my goal on this to use it up, but I'm really happy that I was able to get more use out of it. I've had this for so long. This is definitely a resurrection and a collecting cobwebs product for sure. Next up, I have been making progress but my goal was to use it up this is a resurrection product this is the mac studio fix in the shade c3 and here's my update for you guys i have a lot of pen and this is definitely going to be done by the end of the year i'm going to count this as the end of year empties i don't think i'm going to have a lot of products this year unfortunately due to everything that's been going on i wasn't wearing a lot of makeup i was sick this past week so i didn't really get to use products this past week either so i am definitely going to be applying this on my face until it's all gone and it's also what I'm actually wearing on my skin today as foundation. So I do like it. Um, this was e the first ever foundation I ever applied to my skin when I first got into makeup. This is not the first ever product that I have. But this product, like in general, was my first foundation. Which is pretty cool to kind of mention that I guess I don't know but I do like it I think it has really good coverage as well it's pretty much high medium full coverage foundation so if you're looking for a good powder I definitely think this is really nice and then the last product I have for you guys is this Laura Geller baked gelato illuminator in the shade gilded honey and it's just a gold highlight my goal for this was to hit pen there is a dip going on and again I've been sick this past week so there was no way I was using any makeup this week I didn't meet my goal. I really was going to make an effort this past week to make it a goal, even if it was like a side pan. But again, unfortunately, I was six. This may be a product that maybe I'll put in next year's graveyard project pan. So yeah, those are my updates. I didn't think I did amazing, but I made great progress on some products. Those are my updates. What do you guys think? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.